The devil doesn't want you to see this video because he doesn't want you to know the power behind the Bible. The power behind the Bible is undeniably the best way to conquer the devil. And he knows that the Bible is the sword. We use it as a weapon against the enemy. And when we use it, he has to flee. This is the reason, the main reason why he doesn't want you to use the Bible, to read the Bible, to know the Bible, to memorize Bible verses. Because uh, when you quote scripture at him, the enemy has to flee. For example, <clears throat> this Bible verse says, this is James 4, 7. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So <laughs> that's right out the gate. The devil knows that if we resist him and we continue to resist him, He's got no, he's got no luck. What are you going to do? You got no smoke with Jesus, bro. You can't come against Jesus. You can't come against the word of God. Another one. And the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. That's Romans 16, 20. Fire. Tell me the devil doesn't want you to know that one. Will crush Satan under your feet shortly. Now, you know, the Bible says that, you know, Jesus will bruise the heel of his foot on Satan's head, you know, on the, the head of the serpent. So there's a lot of value in the Bible that the devil doesn't want you to know. And so he tries to do things like distract you with your phone, social media, um, Netflix, YouTube. Even this video is a distraction from you actually reading the Bible, even though it actually honors the Lord. But if you're not actually sitting down with the word of God, you're not fully equipping yourself undistractedly. And so he'll do things to like try to get you to stay away from reading the Bible, like make you think it's boring. Have you guys read the Bible? Have you seen how many different amazing stories and things that happen in there? It's like the best book on earth for real. You know, you, you read it from front, front end to the back end and it's nonstop action the whole time. Uh, miracle after miracle, um, things that just increase your faith. The Bible says, blessed are those that believe and have not seen. So while we have never seen Jesus physically, we believe in him because of what the Bible says. We believe in him from the miracle signs and wonders that we see in our lives. I believe in him because I know the man that I used to be, that I no longer am just from the power of hearing the word of God and someone, you know, coming and telling me about Jesus. So awesome. Let me move this cup out of the way. You guys looking like this Indiana Jones guy right here <laughs> poking in the the frame, distracting things. Uh and so like what another way that he distracts us is by making us think that, you know, we already know everything. We get prideful, oh I already know that, or I know this word, or oh I've heard that story out of the Bible before, and then you automatically tune it out. Some of you guys are probably tuning me out already, scrolling down underneath YouTube, looking for the next video you're going to watch. That's the devil. That's what the enemy does. He tries to distract you so you don't hear the good word of someone that's really trying to put you on game. And so I understand. I get it. You know, there's been some some services that I went to where I fell asleep in. You know what I mean? But that's when that's before I even knew who Jesus was. That's before I even understood that Jesus came and died for my sins while I heard the word. I didn't read the word. I didn't have an, uh, a relationship with the Lord. I didn't have the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of me to be able to help me understand what the word means. And that's why I think you don't have to read the ESV, guys. You don't got to get the ESV. Get any book that you understand the best. Now, they say the ESV has got a couple of things translated differently. At the end of the day, just read the Bible. Read the Bible, and it's better if you get a study Bible because you can watch YouTube or you can listen to a pastor or you can ask your friends, hey, what does this verse mean? And you'll probably get something different from every person you ask. But the study Bible has notes in it that actually tells you what the verses mean. That way you can get a deeper understanding of what God's really trying to say in the book. The Bible is spirit breathed. It's God's word written by men that were filled with the Holy Spirit. So this isn't a man-made book, right? So a lot of people try to discredit the Bible. Oh, some dudes wrote that. No, the Holy Spirit wrote this book through men because the Holy Spirit is a person, but he's not visible. So he has to have someone write it for him. And that's what the Bible is. And the devil doesn't want you to know that. The devil doesn't want you to know these Bible verses. 
He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. That's 1 John 3, 8. Satan doesn't want you to know that. Satan doesn't want you to know that in the end, he loses. He knows he's a loser. Revelation already spells it out for us. He goes straight to the pits of hell. And so while the devil's running around, running amok here on the earth, God... God only allows the devil to do so much. He's got him on a leash, right? So the 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 things that he's wreaking havoc in, in our lives, we give him the, the permission to do that. When we allow the devil to work in our lives, we give him more power than he already has. You're, you got to understand the devil doesn't have any power except for beyond what you give him. So when you live by the word of God and you know this, you realize he's truly powerless over you. You're letting him mind, mind wash you. What's, what's the word? He's gaslighting you. The devil is gaslighting you, making you think that you have to do this stuff. You have to watch porn. You have to smoke weed. You have to drink. You have to have sex. You have to do, you know, the things that just make you feel like, makes me feel like me. You know, uh, you have to change your gender. You have to do all these things because the world says, live your truth. You know, that's, that's, that's a lie from the devil. And when you get to entertain, when you entertain that type of stuff, it uses more and more things like that to just cripple you and keep you away from the true word of God. There's only one truth, and that's that Jesus died for our sins so that we can be uh, forgiven so we can go to heaven. The only way to heaven is Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. That means Jehovah's Witnesses aren't going to heaven. That means Muslims aren't going to heaven. That means... Uh, Buddhism, Hindus, you know, atheists, agnostics, none of those people are going to heaven unless they repent of their sins and accept what Jesus did on the cross for them. And that's what the devil wants you to think. Oh, there's more than one way to heaven. There's more than one. There's more than one God. You know, there's more than one way to get there. And it's not, oh, you get to heaven by being a good person. That's not the truth. The devil has a lot of the world deceived. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That's Isaiah 41.10. The devil doesn't want you to know that. The devil doesn't want you to know that God is there. He is your strength, and he will uphold you with his righteous right hand. Because if the devil can make you think that God doesn't care about you, that he's abandoned you, that he doesn't hear your prayers, the more that he can run amok in your life. And he's sitting back there going, yes, they don't think God loves them. And he's going to just cause chaos in your life. And that's what he's doing. The devil came to kill and destroy. He doesn't want you to have joy. So he wants you to think that God's not answering your prayers for the reason only that he hates you, that he doesn't love you, that he's choosing to ignore you. God is everywhere all at one time. He can hear everything all at one time. He hears my prayers right now. He hears your prayers right now. He hears the whole world. So there's no one else in the world that can do that. The devil can't hear your thoughts. Jesus can. God can read your mind. He know He knows everything before you do it. For I've knitted you together in uh, your mother's womb. I knew the plans that I had for you, says the declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. It's Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. And then also, when you get to remembering these Bible verses and you can spit them out like that, it just it leaves you fully equipped for warfare, spiritual warfare, which we're all facing. The devil doesn't want you to know that. He wants you to think he doesn't exist. The devil wants you to think he's not real. Can you believe that? But in the Bible, it says even the demons believe in God. So if if God's real and he kicked Satan out of heaven and the Bible says that he's real, how can he try to fool us into thinking he's not real? But it works. There's people out there, oh, I don't believe in heaven or hell, but they believe in ghosts. What do you think a ghost is? A ghost is a demon. What is a demon? A demon is Satan's minions. The devil's got the world fooled, guys. I just don't want you guys to be one of the people that are fooled. Um, Romans 8.31 says, what, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Definitely not the, definitely not the devil. I mean, he can be against us, but he's not going to be victorious. So I really want you guys to understand the devil doesn't want you to know this right here because this is a sword, a two-edged sword. That you can slice through any attack he has. Put on the full armor of God, guys. Mount up. Let's ride.
Let's do this. Devil don't want no smoke. So that's going to go for this one. I hope you guys are encouraged. All the lies that he's telling you guys, don't believe it. Don't fall for the okie doke. The devil does not have anything against you that God won't give you the victory with him for. Remember, you, you give the devil the control. You give him the power over you. Jesus says you're a victor. So be victorious in Jesus Christ's name. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Catch you on the next one. God bless.